Welcome to the Xmedia series of tutorial videos. Today's topic is the Xmedia Cloud Facts viewing effects through our web client. In order to start the process, we're going to need to log into our Xmedia Cloud Facts account. And when you set up your cloud account, you'll be able to choose your own password. So you just type in your username that was given to you from the administrator and your password to log into the account. You choose login and it will go ahead and load our inbox and this is going to be all the faxes that we've received within the system so I'll see all the faxes here available that I can look at and all I have to do is go up and choose the fax that I want to view and click on it it will then open the fax in the viewer right in the browser itself here I have different options where I can choose to look at it like from the height so I can see full page, I can go with, or I can zoom in and out of that particular document. I can thumb through the different pages of the facts by just clicking on the arrow buttons to take me through the different pages. And then we also have a thumbnail option, and the thumbnail option just shows a grid of all the different pages of the facts, so I can jump right to the page of the facts that I want. We have a properties tab to show us the transmission information about this fax on when it was received, who it was from, and the routing history. So if any information has been uh, tracked about forwarding that fax to other users. And lastly, a notes field where I can type in information that I can use later on to look up this fax or find information quickly about this fax or associate just a note with the fax. I click save to save those notes and it becomes a part of that inbound fax. I also have the download option. The download option allows me to open up a copy of this fax in the web browser so that I can use the normal PDF capabilities, for example, save to locally. And I can just choose to save and save the file. It's going to be available on my hard drive then at the local workstation so that I can work with that document as need be. I can also forward this fax to other users on the system. When I choose the forward option, it's going to show me the recently used people that I've sent faxes to. I can just choose one and it'll automatically forward that fax. It does keep information in the history of who I forwarded that fax to. I could delete the fax and then I also have the options of printing the fax information or marking it as unviewed. So if I want, to sh want it to show up as a new fax in my uh, inbox. Now the nice thing about the forwarding of the fax, you'll notice how it has a little icon that shows that that fax has been forwarded. So now if I go and I reopen up that particular fax, and now I go to the routing history, and I can see the information of when I forwarded that fax and to whom I forwarded it. So this will conclude our Sejimcom tutorial video. I just wanted to take a moment for thank you for watching. This has been how to view a fax using our web client in the cloud. And you can visit us at www.xmedius.com for more information about our products and our company.